Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Mount Family Ridge Channel. I'm uh, out here, as you can see, swapping out a tire on my uh, Diamond C trailer, and uh, it's kind of it's kind of been uh, expected that it was going to happen sooner or later, uh, and probably honestly sooner than later. So just kind of been milking these tires, you know, when the truck was paying for itself and the trailer was paying for itself, uh, you know, getting. A new tire before a blowout uh it was kind of uh easier to, to do because it was all kind of put into the the cost of doing jobs but now uh without you know the truck and trailer paying for itself it, it gets to be a little bit more complicated all right we just uh had the farrier roll down the driveway and uh we're friends with him we've we've been using him for a lot of years here on the farm and uh just wanted to, to say hi real quick and uh you know, uh, we don't we don't really get to see him as often as we used to, but uh, it's uh, it's good to see Pete when he's here. Um, actually, uh, chasing a squirrel a little bit related to Pete sort of. Um, back uh, a ways back in my videos earlier on, I had posted a video of uh, Pete trying to do some work to our Clydesdale's hooves. Um, you know, he had some you know major uh, issues uh, with his hooves. And uh, it was an ongoing saga trying to, to get him uh, more comfortable and walking right while he was really, really sick with some other infection. And, uh, but anywho, uh, if you wanted to, to, to see a little bit of that video, it's early on. Uh, it's a, a horse's name is Charlie. He was our, uh, we had a Clydesdale here. And, uh, but anyway, that's an earlier video. But if you're interested to check it out, uh, you could check it out. So um, anyway, yeah, so the tire here is uh, that I felt the, uh, the trailer kind of hopping uh, the other day and I had a feeling it was either, either something horribly wrong with my drivetrain in my truck uh, or more likely uh, a shifted belt in one of my trailer tires or a failing belt. And uh, luckily that's exactly what it turned out to be. So I'm gonna turn the camera around here and I'll show you just exactly how epic that failure was. So you can see here, just turn it around. It's actually a pretty decent, pretty decent failure. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that belt definitely let go big time. You can see, there's the inner part of the tire basically. Came, became delaminated and uh, I imagine the abrasion from the road is probably what what made the, the steel belt fail the rest of the way but uh, <clears throat> yeah it's just a 10 ply tire I actually the, the new one I put on is a 14 ply the rest of the tires on there are, are 10 ply um, normally I wouldn't do that normally I would just kind of do it all together uh, back when I had my trucking company up and running but, uh, <clears throat> you know, we're kind of having to piecemeal with minimal money flow here. So we got to be real careful where I put it. And uh, just going to have to do a one tire at a time. These, these tires here, um, I did right after I shut my business down. All four of these tires on this axle are all 10 ply, but they're also uh, all brand new. So it's a little bit more even there. So... Yeah, that's uh, what I got going on this morning. Later today, I'm gonna be going back over to my friend Ed's place and uh, gonna go over there, nip off a little piece that I intentionally left on the stump uh, to prevent that one piece from rolling down his hill into the street while I was cutting it. And uh, I'm gonna throw some mulch over that, bring the excavator home because now I've got uh, a decent size pile of uh, firewood logs over there uh, that he has also gifted to me um, to, to bring back here. So I, uh, <clears throat> he's helping me out with getting all the fluids and filters for my equipment, uh, a couple chainsaw chains, and the logs. I think that's uh, pretty, pretty fair, pretty fair. So um, I'll see you guys later on.
everybody. Uh, it's been uh, a long, long week or so. It's uh, I'm actually uh, closing out the video now the following day and uh, <clears throat> just uh, trying to wrap up this video for you guys. Uh, the project's not 100% done. I still have to go back and pick up uh, multiple truckloads of uh, firewood logs. I, uh, I tried to um, to get as much footage yesterday uh, as I could. However, the, uh, the tracking uh, mode on the gimbal kind of let me down. The, uh, the tracking wasn't exactly working as well as I would like it to. I mean, it, it works. It's not, um, it's not a complete fail, but it's kind of like a GoPro Hero 9. You really don't want to trust it. Um, kind of use it in addition or just maybe, um, you know, uh, leave it fixed instead of tracking. Just leave it fixed and, uh, and maybe uh, have somebody else controlling the tripod and kind of swinging it. Because as far as image stabilization with that gimbal, that really does uh, make a huge difference. But uh, yeah, don't, don't trust the tracking unless you're like, you have somebody uh, watching over the camera, making sure it's not goofing up. Uh, like looking at the sky and whistling Dixie, you know, whatever it does, uh, <laughs> it can get kind of annoying, but uh, it is still a neat uh, thing. So I'm going to, I actually made a video on it um, and uh, I kind of, my feelings kind of changed on it a little bit, so I'm not even going to post it. So I'm going to have to, you know, put a little bit more time into using it and I'll get back to you guys on that. But now I'm just kind of rambling. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to close out the video now, uh, tomorrow I'll be bringing you guys along and, uh, you know, uh, bring you, uh, with me to, to, to load up at least one, one shipment of logs coming home tomorrow after work. I was going to do it today, but, uh, I've really kind of been running myself down to the bottom of the barrel, uh, for the past, I don't know, two months. I've basically, I, I've been working seven days a week till about nine o'clock at night, uh, just between here and this project uh, across town, getting all that uh, cleaned up for my friend Ed. So uh, I just uh, I needed to needed to take some time tonight. I'm gonna go get horizontal, and uh, I think I'm probably just gonna zonk out for the evening. It's, uh, it's <laughs> I don't even think it's seven o'clock yet, so I am beat. But thank you guys for hanging out with me here on the Manhattan Ridge. And uh, if you like this content, please hit that like button, subscribe, maybe share it with your friends, uh, you know, whoever might be interested in it. And also, I wanted to mention to you guys, I just recently opened up a Facebook page. Um, I guess I got, um, I'm new to this whole Facebook thing, so it's a Facebook account uh, under my name, uh, but there's also the Mount Tammany Ridge page. So uh, I've sent out uh, a bunch of friends requests uh, to uh, other woodhounds, things like that. Um, and I've gotten uh, quite a few uh, answers back so far and uh, we'll just have to see how far it goes. But um, that's going to be it. I uh, really wish you guys to have a good evening and uh, get some rest and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.